everyone. Thank you once again for joining me. On September 16th, 2025, today at 1659 Universal Time or 2.59 a.m. Local Time. Um, it would have been a day ahead of us there, so it would have been September 17th in Papua New Guinea. A magnitude 6.0 earthquake struck the New Ireland region, approximately 206 kilometers southeast of Kokopo in East New Britain province, Papua New Guinea. It had a depth of 77 kilometers about, or about 48 miles. This event occurred in a seismically active area along the Pacific Ring of Fire, where the Australian plate and the Pacific tectonic plates converge. I got it all drawn out here. See the little areas? Yeah. There has been no reports of a tsunami, no reports of damage, and I've been waiting to see if there's any felt reports, but I haven't received anything about that. You can see this is close to the same area where back in 1971, there was in fact an 8.1. That earthquake, in fact, did cause a tsunami, but today's did not. Here we have a world view of all the different boys yeah, and there's nothing going off here, so no worries about that, thank goodness. This earthquake could have been felt as far as Kokopo and Robel. So using Google Earth, let's see where Kokopo is located. If it'll, re you know, take, there it is. Okay, it will take me there. And yeah, here's the, uh, the earthquake. And up over here is Kokopo. Papua New Guinea experiences dozens of earthquakes annually due to its position on multiple fault lines, including the New Britain Trench. And earlier in 2025, uh, a similar event near Kokopo, including a magnitude 5.9, occurred on August 7th. Um, that had a depth of 19 kilometers. And then on August 8th, there was a 6.0. Near the same location, I don't have them marked out. Both of which were felt locally, but caused no major reported damage. People there with a population of about 28,000 may have experienced vibrations strong enough to rattle windows, dishes, or um, maybe cause minor objects to fall. If you are in the area, yeah, report your experiences to the USGS Did You Feel It website. Or EMSC. This earthquake is associated with the subduction zone along the New Britain Trench, and part of the of the uh, Solomon Sea Plate subducting under the uh, South Bismarck Plate. I got all those drawn out here. Here you can see the Solomon Sea Plate, and um, this would probably yeah, this is the New Britain Trench. And it shows the direction here I got drawn that it moves. The Solomon Sea Plate is subducting under the South Bismarck Plate at a rate of about 107 millimeters a year. The epicenter lies near an active fault in the Bismarck Sea where compressional forces cause frequent thrust and strike slip events. This earthquake, in fact, was a thrust earthquake. Here's the moment tensor ball. Yeah, that's where one side, you know, rises up, the other side stays stationary. And luckily, it was so deep that it didn't cause a tsunami. Papua New Guinea's seismic activity is driven by a broader action. The collision between the Australian plate and the Pacific plate forming the Papa uh, fold and the thrust belt. Historical data shows that there's been over 20 six-point or larger events um, in this location since 1900, emphasizing that this area does have high hazard potential. So if you know anyone in this location and they did report feeling the vibrations maybe, put those comments down below. Here you can see we got a, a 7.3 in 19, looks like 85. Uh, let's see, we got 
2000, a 7.8. Also an 8.0 in 2000. Yeah, it's really seismically active. Yeah, 85, 7.2, 6.2, 6.5. Yeah, if you go a little bit towards the uh, southeast, yeah, 7.2, 6.8. Yeah, there's been 20 of them in this location since 1900. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.